What's up YouTube, it's Onion Bomb here and welcome back to another Star Wars Resistance reaction video. Today we're moving on to episode 8 of season 2 and last time we're coming off a pretty good one. One that I enjoyed, um, I don't really like look at the episodes and like really narrow down which one's my favorite even at the end of seasons for any show. But just, you know, off the top of my head last episode might be my favorite or one of my favorites now it's probably due to a lot of nostalgia factor with like you know the mention of jedi and sith and temp temples and stuff like that um i did like the new uh, first order raiders that unit uh, that was pretty cool um and yeah it just was a cool concept for an episode i thought i just really enjoyed it uh but yeah kaz uh stumbles into a uh what was seen as a jedi temple but then it was underneath it was a sith temple uh and they met uh mina minka she was looking for the, the artifact uh and uh you know, there's a bunch of traps kaz was oh my goodness like i know like I, I know, like, you know, some of his flops are for comedic effect, but he was just all kinds of flopping last time. Like, he set off, like, four traps, I think. Uh, but they got the artifact, uh, and the First Order Raiders, uh, you know, captured uh, Terra and uh, the, the, the one uh, ace pilot. Um, and then she used the artifact to fry the troopers. So, yeah, it was, it was pretty cool, pretty cool episode. I liked, um, I just liked the mention and the references to Jedi and stuff. Um, and it was just pretty cool. Um, interesting to me that, uh, I never realized this, but, uh, Kaz revealed he doesn't believe in the Force, which, um, yeah, I, I just, I didn't expect that from him, honestly. I, I just... I, I that just that just personally surprised me um but i like it almost i, I like it. it's interesting to me so yeah that was the last episode um let's see what this episode has so i've heard in the mic uh let's see what this episode has to offer so let's get into it oh we're jumping right into it jeez space fight between first order and uh colossus fight any word from the captain no but if you want to get out of here why don't you ask him yourself Last time I did, he nearly bit my head off! Yeager, what's the word? I wonder if Tam. I understand, Kaz. Probably Just hang not. in there for a little bit longer. I feel like they would make a big deal about that. Captain Doza, our shields will not hold for much longer. I'm on it, Kaz! I thought that was gonna be Tam for a second, but. Our shields are down I think they're just and if you showing don't land the Kaz now, we're gonna start losing them. All ships, fall back. Prepare to jump to hyperspace. Oh. Our signal beacon torch. But that's definitely not the Colossus. Is that? Oh, was, was that Leia? Ooh. I can't tell if that's Leia or not. Uh, so I'm just gonna leave it up in the air for now. See, we're stuck in their tractor beam. No, no. Like I thought that sounded like her for a second. I don't think. Man, that sounded like her for a second, though. Jeez. Put your hands up now. Break my ship, and you'll have to deal with me. Retrieve her flight data recorder. Perhaps where you've been will tell us more about who you are. Both the system and her droid have been fried. Take her to the detention bay. Well, not good. I'm sure Doza has a plan. He brought us to the outer rim to lay low, and then he gave away our location by activating that beacon. I never said it was a good plan. Enough! I'm as easy? I'd like to see you do better. Tara! Nice going, Castastrophe. What did I do? <laughs> Didn't even say anything. Oh, here's Tam. That's the X-Wing pilot that was looking for the Colossus. She looked familiar to you. No. Why? Forget I said anything. Does Tam know her? I don't remember her. 
Heck, I thought she was <laughs> Leia for a second. I, I'm looking more and more stupid as the episode goes on. But... and Captain Goza normally have a pattern of here on this exact date, they would leave Castellan and travel to an undisclosed location. Captain Goza, Tora, we have to talk. Not a good time, Kazuda. I know you're trying to contact Resistance. I can help. Since remember? I mean, I was never officially sworn in exactly, but Kaz, we're not looking for the entire Resistance. Trying to find one of their pilots. My mother. Oh, I thought of it this one second before they said it. And say nothing to anyone about Tor's mother being with the resistance. About that. How could you know this entire time and not tell uh, me? The fewer people that know, the safer it is. That makes sense. Why do you know Tor's mother? Venita and I go way back. We were both pilots for the rebellion. Didn't Doza fight for the Empire? He did. Benisa got him to defect. He refused to be part of another war, but Benisa was determined to fight back. She's as fearless as they come. Ooh, okay. Sounds a lot like Tora. That's how, uh, what's her name? Tam recognized her. We met before? Hard to say. You all look like clones dressed like that. Got a name, kid? DT 533. 533? It's not too late to get out of this, you know. I can help you. Individuality isn't a trait the First Order tolerates. You're wrong. They're helping me achieve what I've always wanted. And what's that? Still up. <laughs> Why are you with the First Order? To help restore peace and order to the galaxy. Forget the lies they filled your head with and tell me why you're really here. You know this isn't where you belong. Tamara? How do you know my name? Miss Vanessa Doza. <laughs> Doza, I believe you know my husband. <laughs> As always, Torch. Torch. Oh, Torch is gonna go. There. Go out. <laughs> Going somewhere? Kaz! Oh. It's not what it looks like. Find her, so don't try to stop me. Well, I wasn't going to. Poorly thought our plans are right up my alley. I'm in. No, I can't let you do that. Look, if my family was in trouble, I wouldn't let anyone stop me from helping them. I appreciate the offer, Kaz, but... What? It's not just that I want to help her. In fact, she probably doesn't even need my help. I just want to see her. Today is... Someone's birthday. Today's the one day I could always count on seeing my mom. Today's... My birthday. I thought they were gonna go somewhere else at first. I originally thought it was gonna be her birthday, but then I, the way she was saying something, I didn't Using think. Using me as a hostage won't work. It ended up being her Never birthday. Never get off this ship. Taking you home to the Colossus. The Colossus is no longer my home. Interesting. Look, my husband was once on the wrong side too, until he saw the Empire for what it truly was. Oh this no. This doesn't feel like a shortcut torch. I'd like to get out of here before someone notices I'm gone. Someone's noticed. Drop your weapon. You're not going anywhere. What? Eee, this is not good. If you surrender, the First Order will grant you amnesty. Mm, not really my style. Or theirs. Unless he shoots through you. If I have to. Can't do it, can you? And a chance. You're going to lose. Open your eyes. Destroying planets of innocent people isn't winning. Lock in the door. Uh, Not the brightest star in the system, is he? I'm worried about Tora. You would be too if you cared about her at all. <laughs> Torch, relax. Leaving my daughter behind wasn't easy, but I'm doing this for her so she can live her life in a galaxy at peace. Oh no. Oh, can you believe these bucketheads? Ooh, she got two of them already. Go light them up. Is that like fuel or something that's gonna explode? What the oh. <laughs> oh. We have an incendiary incident in Bay 2. Oh no. Dang. I know. I'm sure Yeager misses you. You might not have realized it, but he thinks of you like a daughter, Tam. And he should have trusted me. Oh, yo. Blowing the entire place up here. A lot Just like torch. Go. Oh, 
and steer clear of the hangar when you wake up. Sorry. <laughs> she, she had to do that or it's gonna look like Tam like helped her or didn't try. Stop that fighter! Oh, okay, so the droids in the town. Oh, so it's gonna blow up and Tam's gonna think she died. What about Torch, though? Oh, Torch gets out. Wow, they did it. That reminded me of something I like Rebels. You all good back there? The prisoner, correct? Yes. It was my fault she escaped. Did the pilot reveal anything as to her identity? No. Nothing. We'll find out soon enough. Vicious. Surprise! Surprise! <laughs> what <laughs> is that? Is that a, a gorg? He could help me make it for you. <laughs> if I say, kiddo. Uh, yeah, why didn't you tell us? Think you'd care. Of course we care. I mean, who else gonna help you eat this cake? <laughs> Wait, where did that little up? Uh, hey, <laughs> oh, 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 I'll get it off me. Look, the future's uncertain, but we'll face whatever comes our way, no matter how far apart we are. In that old recording again? Oh, yes. It makes me feel better. But it's like you told me when I was very young. The galaxy needs her right now. Still have each other, father. Yes, yes, we do. <laughs> Huh. Alright, so that was episode 8 of Star Wars Resistance. That was actually a really good one, too. Um, I was just saying last time, it's been a while since we caught up with Tam and saw Tam, so good to see that again. Um, a very interesting one, too. Because Tam uh, recognized Tora's mother, which was a Resistance person that they were supposed to meet up with. I originally thought it was going to be for a plan, but it turned out it was just to meet up for Tora's birthday. But, um, yeah, Tor's mom was in the Resistance. That was revealed. That's a cool, uh, plot point there. Um, we met Ter Tor's mother. She's pretty cool. And uh, Tam thought she recognized her, so she, like, talked with her in, the, like, the prison. They had a good chat about, uh, the First Order. And, like, you know, you really see how far, uh, gone Tam is and how, like you know like clouded she is about the first order so uh yeah it, it is uh cool like we we almost got to the point where like um she almost like i feel like she almost broke or not that she almost broke but i almost thought she was gonna break and come back to the first of uh, the colossus and they were uh that was going to be that. Tam was going to be back. I'm glad they didn't go down that route. Because I liked how they handled this. Like this was just the start. Uh, or like the continuation of Tam. Uh, uh, slowly seeing the truth about the First Order. And hearing other viewpoints on it. And then coming back. Um, so I'm glad that they didn't like bring Tam back already. I think that would have been a little bit too soon. And too rushed. So I'm, I'm glad uh, it went down like it did. I, I don't know why, but the way uh, uh, Tor's mom escaped uh, from from the First Order, I remind me of some of Rebels, like how like uh, like how planned out it was, and how like how it just went down. Like the droid was really involved because Chopper was always involved, and I guess with all the explosions, it reminded me of Sabine. And I, I don't know, it, it just uh, it was like it was really cool. At first, I thought they were gonna have Tam think uh, that the um, that Tor's mom died. I'm sorry, I keep calling her Tor's mom. I forget her actual name. But um, I thought they were going to have her think she died in the TIE Fighter. I think she saw her escape. She was like, no, wait, uh, to the TIE Fighter. And, uh, and yeah, that was like before it blew up. So I thought that was also going to help her be persuaded to go with the resistance. But uh, I, I think she knows that she's alive. But that was that was yeah, that was a good episode. Good to see more with like you know the first order and uh, Tam. Also seeing with the Colossus too, a cool storyline with Tora and Dosa. And uh, yeah, you know Tora's mom was in the Resistance. That's cool. Uh, yeah, hopefully uh, keep having episodes like this because the last two episodes were great. Honestly, I loved them. 
But right, that's gonna do it for me. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like or dislike, subscribe or don't subscribe. No, it's always up to you. And I will see you guys in the next video you watch with me. Goodbye. On a tangle, I can feel him try to grab me by the ankles. I can hear him all start to say my name, oh. But it's not about the money or the fame, no. No, it's all about me just doing my thing, yo. Cause I'm loving what I do and I won't change, no. I feel blessed I could do this every day, yo.